right, welcome back to another episode of Big Sticks, guys. This morning, I'm headed out to Emeryville. Gonna do a rockfish and crab combo on the new huck fin. Probably end up doing a catch and cook for y'all. So stay with me, folks. We are about to do this. You kiddo, you getting a bite. I did. Okay. It came off. Which bag is this one? That's the red one, yeah.
being all the way on the bottom is rough. Looks like uh, we're starting, might be hooking some fish. They're starting to come up shallower. About a 15 count now. Coming up to a 12 count. Okay, I could live with that. It's time to get back to the house and cook these crabs up. Okay, first things first. Need to get some water with a whole lot of salt. It needs to be the equivalent saltiness of the sea in order for it to taste right. Next, vinegar. I'm gonna pour in about, I don't know, two cups of vinegar in here. Next is lemons lots of lemons don't have to go crazy but i'm probably gonna put about i don't know five or six lemons worth next old bay just gonna take this off like don't even waste your time trying to measure this stuff out and you're trying to make a good court bouillon, no need to skimp. A good court bouillon is what makes your crab taste 
super good. And if it don't look red enough to you, add more. We're gonna go get this on the fryer. Bring this up to a boil. So, here's one of the quickest ways to dispatch your crabs. Um, you know, once you get them home, if you don't like all that, all the uh, all the guts and stuff, and just get you a nice corner. Comes right off. All right piece of cake so it's called backing them and you don't have to deal with all the guts and stuff when you're cracking them plus I don't know these days most of the crabs be loaded with demoic acid and I ain't trying to end up in the dementia care unit and if you don't have a pot you know that that can hold Oh, a whole lot of crab. This makes it a lot easier on you. Yeah, I think this uh, this cauldron is ready for us. Yeah, we got about 225. We should be at a rolling boil there. Just, just go ahead and drop this in. Just gonna close the lid here, and we'll cook it for like nine minutes. It's been nine minutes, we're gonna turn off the flame. So it got back up to a rolling boil again. And now we're just gonna let it sit for five minutes in this in the in the court bouillon. Alright. It's been five minutes. The fruits of labor now. A little lemon, a little butter, and that crab that we just got. Ain't no sense in eating crab dainty. It's not a dainty food, if you know what I mean. Yeah, buddy, there is nothing better than fresh crab. Now, the rest of this, this is going to end up going in a in a seafood gumbo for, for the Super Bowl. And then some of it's going to become a sautéed crab for that, that 49er Seahawks finale on December 29th. So, family, get ready for that. All right, so that's going to do it for me. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Until next time, folks, from my kitchen to yours... Big sticks out.